Hi, it's Kelly here. And if you're into crystals and healing and frequencies, I am going to show you in this video how to make the most powerful crystal for, crystals for healing and enjoyment that, of anything you've ever seen. So you stick around. This is going to be this is going to be awesome because I'm not just going to show you one thing. I'm going to show you a bunch of things you consolidate together <clears throat> to make extraordinary healing crystals. <coughs> Excuse me. By the way, I'm the author of this book here, The Doctor Who Cures Cancer. There it is in Russian. I'm the inventor of the Heartfelt Energizer and the Whirling Bliss Machine. So let's get started. It starts with this here. This is a crystal inside here. And this is called, because it's in, within resin, it's orgone. And you can look up orgone, Wilhelm Wright, if you want. It's using a combination of what are called conductors and insulators to maximize energy production. Well, in this case, not only does it have the orgone, which is in, within the resin here, and I'll tell you where to get that. I go to Etsy, and I because the person I buy it from is he calls it Applicum, A-P-L-I-C-U-M. He adds these. This is the design of a multi-wave oscillator antenna. And notice that they're incomplete copper circles. And they have a certain ratio between each one. And what happens is, is that the copper has a little spark that goes to complete that circle. And the more circles you have, the more possible combinations you have in different frequencies that can be produced. So these are three of the basics. And if you hold it in your hand, you might notice some subtle energy. But I'm going to show you how to make it into not so subtle. You'll notice the energy running from your hand, wrist, arms, up into your head, down into your body. For me, it sort of gets blocked around where I have a metal rod in my back. But for you, it may go right down to your feet. All right? So what I did is use a combination of things. Because what Wilhelm Reich found with orgone is by using a combination of things that you get more energy. And he created a box called the orgone box accumulator. And it had a combination of three different things repeated over and over again to step up the energy if you sat inside the box. So, now in the meantime, uh, more recently, Professor Emeritus Martin Mull, uh, excuse me, Martin Paul, P-A-L-L, -L, he noticed that in, in the cell membranes of our body, which are very, very thin, right, because our cells are very tiny, that just in the walls, in that cell membrane, that it steps up the electricity 7.2 million times in that, in that tiny little space. Well, how do you do it? It has to be mighty thin, and yet it's mighty powerful to step it up, the energy. And this is what Wilhelm uh, Reich was doing with his orgone accumulators, kind of thick. All right. Well, here we're going to thin it down a little bit to make it more usable. So, what I did is I took one and two, and in the middle has several things. One of them is my bliss discers here, and put it in the middle. You can see it in the middle. Now, if you look really closely, you can see, see where that white this middle thing is, there's kind of a space. It doesn't quite touch. Let me put my glasses on to make sure that I'm holding it in a way that you can see it. Now, you see that little space? There's two spaces between the thicker parts and the white part. How did I do that? This took a while to make. <laughs> this, it looks 
looks like slamming together, but it took a while to make it. I took this, and I also got this from Applicum. I hope I've got the right side showing. No, I've got the wrong side showing. You see, it's miniature. It's a miniature of this design. And it doesn't matter. It's not so important how thick it is. It's how many layers you have in order to develop the potency. So it's not thickness, it's thinness. This one is, he would say, because he's in Europe, 25 millimeters, mm's. That 25 millimeters is one inch. He also has them that are just maybe three quarters of size, 17 millimeters. And that's fine. It's fine. See how thin it is? And then I took one of these, and you can find these online. They're called negative ions stickers. I, did, I happened to get these because I got the best price on them. But you, you can see them. They'll be rectangular or or round. They'll have different designs here on here. And it, you know, it's got to stick them on the back, right? So you take, where would I put it? You got this, right? And I put it in a particular order, right? This here is your insulator. So I want to have this next to it because that the combination one after the other, like that, is really, really good. So I turn, I've got it facing out here, but I actually want to face it this way. And then I use super glue and glued this onto here. So you got, whoops, you got to wait for it to dry, right? You put down a little bit of pressure for a minute, make sure you got it. When you put the glue on, Rotate it a little bit so you get a nice thin application of the glue. You're only going to have a couple seconds to do that. It's going to start to grab. Once it starts to grab, just let it grab. All right, but get there as centered as you possibly can. All right. Then you're going to take the stick'em thing, and you can stick it on that side, glue it. It doesn't matter, or the other way. So in this case, we're just going to stick that on there. We, we're going to peel off the back side, stick it on there. Now we've got something really potent. Oh, i got to tell you first. What's the point of me telling you about this, except that this here, when you hold these in your hand, one in each hand, whoa, I think I did say that. The potency of this is multiplied. You put it in your hand, and within a few seconds, of paying attention with your eyes closed, perhaps, and you just start to feel that energy moving and going up in your brain. And this is physical science. It's not something you're imagining. You've got copper here. You've got the orgone. You've got the insulator. And all of these things are multiplying, just like we have in the cell membrane. All right? So this is super, super powerful. You know, it's... Like you, I don't know, maybe if you had a great big pyramid with Oregon in it, maybe that's powerful too. I don't know, it, depending how close you sit to it. But this is you're going to be able to put right in your hand very comfortably. So, so you've got one of these, right? And you have, you, and you've been putting this on either side. So you got this on one side, right? You got the two things glued on there. One's got the stickum, so it just sticks right on. The other one you glue on with super glue, right on there. You do the same thing on the other side. Now you've got five layers in a very small area. This is good. This is what you want, right? So now that you've got all five, you can take this. And you're going to take the raised portion here on the inside. Oh, oh, oh. 
I almost forgot. I almost forgot, and I don't have it here to show you. So I'm just going to describe it to you. You can buy quartz crystal, or make sure it's quartz or maybe rose crystal. And you're going to, oh, you're going to take super glue. Okay, now we've got this on here already. It's after you've got this on here centered as best you can. All right? Just eyeball it in. Now around the edges, you're going to back and forth as best you can. You're going to put super glue. And then you're going to smother this with, with ground up crushed quartz crystal like dust. Just pour it on there in a bowl. All right, so that way you capture it, or, all right, in a bowl. So, and let it sit for about a minute or two. And then tap it off. Now you've got quartz crystal around the edges here, and I'm going to show you again here. When you look at this, you might not be able to see it, but there is quartz crystal glued on the inside. All right, this is really good. It's optional, but it's worth it. Get the quartz crystal. I think I think a bag of it cost me like two or three dollars. And I've had the bag for months. You could keep using it for different things. All right. So because you're going to want to make more of these. So so where are we now? All right. So here. We have this. Remember now, we, we glued this on, and then we glued this on. Right? And the order is very important because we want, see this insulator? So this is a conductor. Insulator, conductor. You want it that way. You don't want to have insulator, insulator. You want to have insulator, conductor. And then add another insulator. This this black thing is is an insulator. It's a, not, a negative ion generator. Right? That's the way we want it. This that we're gluing on next, actually you'll set this down on your counter or whatever you're working on your workbench and you'll have this turned over of course you'll have you'll have this on both sides and then you're gonna put that on there whoops you're gonna center it see I, I had these glued together it wouldn't fall apart but you get the idea so imagine imagine that you've got the little pieces on there and you're gonna glue that you're gonna center it eyeball it again glue it on with the crazy glue on the outside surface, right? Because you've all, you've only, you've already got this stuff on here, so, and you glued that on. Oh, I'm sorry. So on here, you want to put the glue on this inside surface because you got to make contact with this. So put it on there, spread it around, and when you put it on, you know, s twist it a lot so that you get really thin. Good application. All right, and then you're gonna you're gonna push down on it, you know, for what a half a minute or a minute, let it sit. Now on the other side, you're gonna put again. You're gonna put your multi-wave oscillator antenna. Right, Where, where's the best view right here? This one, and you're gonna put that on there. Then you're going to glue the black thing on there again. Right? So just just with this you've got five parts. You've got the middle part and you've got this and this on both sides. That's five parts. Now you're going to be gluing this on both sides eventually looking like this. And you've got your you got your crystals on the outside. 
right? Now, and you're going to push down and make sure it's on there. And after it's done, you're going to twist it and, and pull on it to make sure it stays together. Because if it doesn't stay together, you got to re-glue it and get it to stay together. All right? So this fits very nicely in the hands. So if you're meditating or visualizing, you can hold that in your hand or, or just wanting just wanting a wonderful healing experience. By the way, these are my <laughs> these are my yellow uh, flip on blue blocking glasses that look like total nerd fits perfectly on the total nerd. You can't even see that they're there because the nerd blends in with the nerd. All right. So then you put these in your hand and you let the energy flow. This is providing your body with a whole lot of frequencies in each hand. And, and imagine that your hands, what if your hands are antennas so that we raise our hands up to praise God? You know, like, like the Olympian who wins the race, runs around the track a second time with his hands up in the air like this to receive all of the all of the applause through his hands that go into his body. Your hands are receivers and senders. Some say that your left hand receives and your right hand sends. They do a little bit of each, but predominantly that's the idea here. You know, this is the feminine is the receiver. The, the, the right is your masculine sender, right? We see this repeated over and over again in, in, in nature. All right. So you have those in your hand. And it's physically generating both negative ions and your frequencies. And by the way, because there's a space there, the air can get to this big fat disc. Or it's not a fat disc, it's skinny. And as the air goes over it, it's generating more ions. Right. Now, for the piece de resistance. That's French. For mm -hmm, good. All right. The crystals, right, are there. And when they're sitting there minding their own business, They've got energy going out in every direction subtly. Very, very minor. It would take a, quite a sensitive tool to measure the voltage coming off. Really, really tiny. <clears throat> However, quartz crystal has a property, and it's called piezoelectricity, P-I-E, pi. And who doesn't like pi, right? This is the best pi you ever had, because it's piezo. Electricity, imagine an electrified pie, because that's what this is. But it only generates piezo or piezo electricity when there's pressure put on it, right? But that's very easy. You know, the, the lighters that you have, you flick them, and, they, and they, they, they generate that electricity enough to light the fuel from the pressure of flicking it. So when you walk on the beach, on the sand, you are generating piezoelectricity through your legs, which are antennas to the ground. The grounding to their grounds, whatever, right? And you're picking it up through your body. This is why people pay the big bucks to go to the beach. <laughs> right? Because it's just awesome. It's indescribable. Everybody should have a sandbox. And make it long so you can walk back and forth. I think I just thought of that. I think when I'm rich, I'm gonna I'm gonna have one. Right now, I have fire ants in the backyard. You try to walk anywhere, and you become delicious. <laughs> I've never seen so many fire ant mounds as you see in my backyard. If you want to see the world's biggest collection of fire ant mounds, you come and look in my backyard. Right. So. So, I'm distracting you here. So, pressure. So, if you take your fingers on the edge and squeeze it, 
you're going to get a little bit of piezoelectricity. And say, how much? Well, I don't know, but it's more than what you had. And each time you do that, each time one of those grains gets pressured, it they all fire in the same direction. Powerful. Now it's firing through the same direction through through your accumulation of goodies here. Now I don't know for sure how the cell membrane works, but I have a feeling that there's pressure. Because Dr. Ravisi discovered that surface tension has 17 different applications in the human body. That's what he discovered quite a few decades ago. All right, I think it was back in the 30s, 40s. So a long time ago, that's like 80 years ago. So pressure, surface tension, does that. So you're holding it in hand. So just to get started, you might give it several pumps with your fingertips and then relax and enjoy. So that's how you make this. Now, I got to show you this because it's, <laughs> ah! I've only got one because I ran out of materials. I got a, I have a few more materials, but I don't have enough to make one of these. Da, 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 you know, you heard the triple burger? Well, this is the one, this has got seven layers of these thin, uh, got seven of these, and it's got these in between each one on both sides, right? So as you can see in the spaces, see the spaces? Yeah, buddy, let me raise it up here so you can see it. Uh, why am I having such a hard time? There we go. You see the little spaces? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So each one multiplies the next one, the next one, the next one. This took me two or three hours to make it because it kept coming apart. Huh. And now I got it. And I can hold that in my hand. And hold one of the smaller ones in the other hand, and I can go to the moon. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. So there you go. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now, I I don't. It, it, it's a lot of labor involved to make these, plus a lot of parts to make this for you. So if you're expecting me to make them for you, I got a better alternative for you. I want to show you. Um, something. The new the new uh, Hartfield Energizers have this kind of pyramid on them. And the shape isn't so important, but it has, it does have those, uh, what do you call it? The multi-wave oscillator antennas on it. It's also full of the quartz crystal, right? So let me bring up the, the, one of the Hartfield Energizers here for you. Turn it off. All right. And show you what else is on here. I don't think you can see it on here. I've added this to the new Hartford Energizers on the other side. Right? Or on the front side, depending. And where, where, oh, here's the pyramid. This pyramid with the quartz crystal on the front. The, the rotation creates the pressure. Right? And as you can see, it has, it has all of these, it has this design, that's the multi-wave oscillator. This has a Flanagan design, and that's the same kind of thing as this. This has like the combination has about a thousand points on it. And um, so it it's it's just my maximizing everything. So what you have here is you have this concept 
and it's in a rotational field so that it multiplies it through the roof. Through the roof. And it goes an infinite distance around the globe, over and over and over again, seven times a second. Now you say, well, well, Kelly, maybe I can't afford to buy that. I mean, it's great, but I can't afford to buy it. You can sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month and have this directed towards you. So you go to patreon.com slash whirlingbliss and you can have this effect multiplied by a bazillion. I call it spectacular cube and you get it for as little as five dollars a month. You will start to improve your life so much that you'll start to have greater capacity, greater creativity to get your own or multiple. I have customers who have ten or more of these, right? Because they like it so much. And they find that the more they have, the better it is. One of these will do your whole house. So don't worry about needing one for each bedroom, although that's a nice thing. You can do that. One will take care of your whole house. The entire house. Because it comes out both sides. And it rotates. It's oscillating back and forth. It, there is no square inch that isn't being covered. But like I say, for five dollars a month, you can protect yourself from the 5G and the Wi-Fi for at least 12 hours a day. If you want to spend seven dollars, you can protect yourself 24 hours a day. I make it easy for you. I handle the entire process right here. In any case, I want you to have this knowledge. I'm glad you have this knowledge because, you know, I may only be here for another 50 years, but then what happens? You know, we recently lived to be 100, 101, and I might only live to be 120. And then what happens to the knowledge? Now you've got the knowledge. The knowledge is conductor, insulator, conductor, insulator, conductor, insulator. The additional knowledge is an incomplete circle of copper. That is a shape that works. All right? You want that. Incomplete, not touching. That's key. The other additional bit of information as we talked about is pressure on your crystal. Crystal, all of that. So now you have the building blocks to make all kinds of things. You make it the way you like it. Just have conductor, insulator, conductor, insulator. And you could go insulator, conductor, insulator, conductor. Toy around with it. See what you like. It's fantastic. Oh, you can't see it. This is dirty because it's, you know, it's been through the mill. I'll show you this. This, was, this is a, a, a whirling bliss machine that I've taken together. I, in there is a crystal, a large crystal, and I wrapped copper wire around it. When you're working with copper wire, you bend it in half, fold it in half, braid it using a vise, and maybe a, a, a power drill. And then you can make wrap it around, make a circle. How? I, I'm not even going to go into that, but that's something else you can work with. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, you can change your life. You're going to find, you're going to find, uh, you feel better. Um, Everything in your life is you're going to be more creative. Things won't bother you as much, and and uh, you, you know you can you, you're just going to feel you're going to feel so much better. So uh, there was something else I wanted to say about it, but anyway, all these things can help you. Oh, 
I'm barely eating these days. And, and uh, I got energy like I did before. And, and now I'm only taking half as many supplements as before. So, you know, I probably spent 150, 200 bucks on supplements a month. And now it's, I cut that in half. So see, then you, so if I'm saving $75 just from that each and every month, 75, 75, 75, that's $900. Heartfelt Energizer is $497. See what I'm saying? So by spending $5 or $7 or even $11 to get two of them pointed at you, let's see, it works twice as fast, you can start saving money over and over and over again. You know, maybe fewer trips to the chiropractor, whatever. Less, food, well, fewer groceries, right? Uh, in the last four days, uh, I think uh, you could say I've had two meals, right? Uh, you know, I'm doing fine. <laughs> so, I hope this has been worth your while, and uh, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them. You take care, and God bless.